Hello everybody and welcome back to Dona Like Dona Read. I am Adam at your service and with me today I have Julius. Hey. And Joaquin. What up? And we are continuing the day I turned bad for Ronnie Radke and never turned back. That's yeah. So guys, I lost my way again. Yeah, I lost my way when I turned bad for Ronnie Radke. <laughs> So it's been a while, um, at least for me, since we've last read this. What what happened last time? Someone got like, like won her in a bed or something. Yeah, basically. Yeah, for some reason, she could have not accepted the bet at all, but for some reason, she did. So she's like Ronnie's girlfriend slash slave, I guess. Yeah, basically a step up from uh, the typical uh, sold to insert band tier trope. Wonderful. You know, that's sometimes common in these types of fic. I guess in, in this in, in this uh case, her boyfriend didn't even get a paycheck for it. He just bet on her and lost. Yeah, bands do this all the time, but you never really know which band you're gonna get sometimes. <laughs> yeah. It's like uh it's like uh what's the word? Uh, I don't I don't know. Roulette? <laughs> no. <laughs> Russian roulette. It's like, oh my god! More like a freshen roulette in this case. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. That was a bad joke. If if you're gonna be, if you're gonna be, I mean, what is she at this point? Like, what is she to the band? Like indentured groupie. I guess she's yeah. supposed to be Ronnie's girlfriend or something. To be the, uh, what is it called? The indentured groupie? Yeah. Which band would you want to be that for? Me, personally? I'm going to say gorillas. <laughs> like the people behind gorillas or the, the cartoon characters? Both. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get back to you on it's that like, one. I haven't thought that one It's like ahead. you spin a roulette and it's either... You spin a wheel, and it's either gorillas or falling in reverse, and you land on falling in reverse, and you're like, fuck. <laughs> wow. Well, we should probably get reading then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Chapter three, Tattoo Day. That's quick. Didn't they just adopt her or whatever? Yeah. He's got a brander now. Ooh, that's a little... Sauce. Yeah, she's gonna turn bad. Uh, turn bad now. <laughs> turn, turn bad. New life, new conflict. <laughs> I woke up to find Jackie above me. I shrieked and jumped away. Calm down, bitch. It's just me, psycho. Yeah, uh, getting started is typical psycho behavior. I giggled at his retort. <laughs> Tattoo day today. I started to feel my heart beat faster. Does it hurt? I said. Are you a chicken? Can't stand a bit of pain. Oh, come on. I thought, wasn't he, wasn't he, uh, wasn't he the nice guy of the group before? <laughs> the nice guy. We're just a little chicken. I maned I maned up Oh man I just I became a horse and I maned up. <laughs> oh no. Do we have any falling in reverse and my little pony crossover fanfiction out oh, there? No. There's Whoa, gonna there, be Philly. there's gonna be a there's gonna be Ronnie Redke pony version somewhere on the internet. <laughs> I'll look it up and see what we find. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Ronnie Draxky. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'm just imagining that picture of Drax in an emo wig. <laughs> no way! Fluttershy, I lost my way again. Wait, wasn't Pinkie Pie's waifu? Oh, never mind. I mean, they're technically all are. Like, you remember in the ep- whatever. <laughs> Let's not get too hung up on this. Yeah. No way! I'm no fucking chicken! 
I got dressed in a beautiful black lace dress and the same black heels from the night before. The night before? Oh no, Kyle, we left him on the floor by himself. <laughs> oh god, I feel so bad. No, that's too late, forget him, there is no point anymore of caring for anyone that won't ever see you again. What's Whoa. empathy? <laughs> Let him bleed out, it's okay. I mean, he kinda sucked, I mean, like, this whole giving her to Ronnie Radke thing was kind of his idea, so fuck him. Yeah, he's terrible, but everyone's terrible here, so. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I thought to myself firmly... As we entered the tattoo parlor, I realized when I walk out, I will be a different person. No, you won't. <laughs> she will be, she will be turned bad. She will, she will be finally one of the emos. <laughs> one of the goths and slackers. One of the vampires. <laughs> yes. <laughs> a girl with tattoos on her neck, arms, upper chest and back, I think. You don't have to do it all she at once. <laughs> you can take your time. Whether, yeah, she doesn't even she doesn't even know yet where she will have the tattoos. That's always a good start for something that you can barely revert. Ooh, a newcomer! She squealed. Character who wasn't introduced squealed. <laughs> <clears throat> Yo, Scarlet, <laughs> we need some serious tats for this young lady. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> some nice tats on this, uh... Some nice tats on this bread. Uh, Jackie said in the most casual voice ever. What would you like? What's your name, sweetie? She asked. I braved up. My name is Nat. I would like tattoos on my back, <laughs> chest, and arms. <laughs> That's you really generic. Her, you want a nickname? Yeah. Also, you want to give me like some introduction, uh, s s some instruction on how the tattoo should look. You're not giving me much well, just, to work with. You know, you can go to a tattoo parlor. Some people go to a tattoo parlor and they will say, you know, just give me something that you think would look cool, or give me something that you would like to do it yourself because you know they're artists but kind of a brave thing to do a lot to ask when it's, it's your first time going there you know yeah also when like you're basically tattooing your whole body yeah or, like most of your upper body it's kind of extreme scarlet's eyes widened brave I like it well. It will take maybe three hours max, dear. That seems like <laughs> that seems a little short. I, I don't. I don't have any tattoos. I don't know. She's but. really efficient. <laughs> it just seems like a very whatever the whatever. Um, okay. Scarlet is the fastest tattooer in the West. <laughs> Let's go to the drying room. Back to the drawing boards. She said my stomach churned time to choose something that will be on me for the rest of my life. <laughs> what do you want out of all these drawings? <laughs> I gazed at thousands of them, I smiled. Can I make up my own? I said she grinned back and nodded. Oh god, always a good idea. Well, I would like black roses falling down my back, a fallen angel on the right arm, a nice angel on the left, and they have to look super badass. <laughs> look, one of oh. them is gonna be blonde and have a red dress, and one of them is gonna be kind of gothic. They also have, like, a green dog. I want also snakes going around my forearms and on my chest. I want some cool writing saying born to die. <laughs> <laughs> and some down. Shit, forced to, <laughs> might, might as well get a tattoo that just says on your chest, born to shit, forced to wipe. <laughs> and some crazy vines and animals randomized around it. And on my left wrist, I want my father's name on it, which is James Lennox. 
And on my right, Amy Lennox. <laughs> so I cited my parents' names. Man, that's, that really is a lot. Born to die. <laughs> I mean, is she lying? <laughs> Aren't we all technically born to die? Yeah, that's fair enough. She grinned wider. Damn, girl, that's sweet. Let me get started. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Took it all in without without missing a beat. Damn, girl. Back at it again with the tattoo requests. She started grabbing stencils and another lady laid me on a bed thing and got the needle ready. On a bed thing. Yeah, the bed thing. <laughs> The author didn't know how to Google this and look up the proper words. <laughs> Any for you, sweetie? Said the attendant to Jackie. I would like Anastasia Lennox written on my left <laughs> forearm, please. Why? She's not your girlfriend. That's weird. It's the long game. He's gonna steal Ronnie Radke's girl. Oh so. no. The day I stole Ronnie Radke's girl and never turned back. <laughs> Jackie said I glanced at his forearm Names of all his friends were clearly written on Okay, so he just has every friend on there Ronnie Redke was at the very top I smiled and Jackie smiled back I laid down and calmed down I am ready to change And no one is going to stop me I felt a zap on my neck And so the pain started And never stopped until four hours later And that's when the chapter ends Zap can't believe you got Ronnie Radke's name tattooed on you, man. <laughs> My, Ronnie Radke, more like Ronald Cornelius Radke. <laughs> <laughs> All right, chapter four. Yeah, the new girl. I burned all over as I walked out the parlor, but I loved my tattoos. They were the most beautiful and intricate drawings I have ever seen. <laughs> Ned, are you stupid? You don't get tattoos on your wrist. They hurt like a bitch. Jackie laughed. Why didn't you stop her then? <laughs> yeah. Maybe should have told me this before. How would I know? This is, these are the first tattoos I ever got. I did it so when I'm praying, my parents will always look over me and help me. <laughs> Come on. They didn't help I you in this situation. <laughs> yeah. I replied quietly. Jackie instantly apologized. I told him not to worry about it. I'm not sensitive about them. Who go to the shops to buy you sick outfits? I laughed. Haven't I spent... Not buy them, but just buy them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't I spent enough of your money? My tattoos cost like a billion dollars. I don't, they're not that... Ex I mean, tattoos are expensive, but they're not that expensive. Yeah, yeah but they went to Scarlet, the fastest tattoo artist in the West. It, it was a rush job. They did, also, like, her arms and back and chest in four hours. <laughs> oh, no. I said concerned with Jackie's financial situation. Don't worry, I have more money than friggin' Ronnie because <laughs> he spends it on useless crap. <laughs> that it doesn't explain the thousands. how you got it, though. It was in the thousands, not, not billions. That's still a lot. Yeah. Whatever you say, Jackie, I replied. We entered many shops with heaps of emo and gothic stuff. Oh no. God, they went it's... to the Hot Topic. They went to EMP. <laughs> and they bought a shirt that had a unicorn on it that said, Don't talk to me until I had my first cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Are you dead? No, you just find those shit that find those shirt and Spencers. Yeah. We I could totally imagine them going to a Spencer's gift shop in, in a mall. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Julius, have you ever been to a Spencer's before? 
I don't know if we have them in Germany. You're not okay. missing much. Don't think I ever heard that name before. If you want all shirts, like if you want to buy shirts like that, you go to any mall in America that has a Spencer's. I mean, I usually see this these kinds of shirts at EMP, so yeah. What's EMP? I guess it's kind of like Hot Topic, I think. Like, it's also a lot of band merch and, like, stupid, uh, don't talk to me until I had my coffees type of shirts. I looked up EMP and, uh, all, I, all that came up was a gun. Uh, have you searched EMP store? Uh, first thing I see on the website, um... A guy in a one of those horse masks over his head giving a piggyback to some chick. Has a bunch of tattoos. Well. And he's got rainbows and everything. Okay. okay. <laughs> Hoodies. Let's see what they got. While you're looking, I did put a picture of Ronnie Radke Pony in the chat. Oh no, where? <laughs> It was lovely. It did not take very hard, long to find. <laughs> oh my god. Are you going to put that on screen? Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, we can definitely put it in the video, but it's, it's in the chat, so recording chat. I mean, that's not too bad. That's kind of cute. <laughs> I like his little bat wings. And his little vampire tooth. <laughs> no, the art looks fine. It's just, it's funny that it exists. Yeah. My life is like a video game. I'm just trying to eat the hay. <laughs> <laughs> All the while I'm still collecting. Uh, don't know. We bought so much clothes, shoes, jewelry, and makeup. I loved it so much. Jackie bought. Oh, well, that's cool. <laughs> Jackie bought himself stuff as well. I think it's because he didn't want to put the spotlight on me. Okay, well, Jackie says this next line in a weird voice, so. <clears throat> Jackie called in a weird voice. Oh, man. Yes, Jackie! I said in a stupid accent to match this. Cats or dogs or both? He said I raised my eyebrow. Why? I asked. Just answer the question, damn it. We're gonna design your fursona now. <laughs> Ready to begin your new life as a wolf? I mean, they are turning bad. <laughs> now I turned bad for an alpha and never turned back. <laughs> he said in a joke tone. Well, cats, of course, I extremely love black cats with golden eyes. I find them so attractive, especially what? boy ones. Why oh, boy oh, ones oh, in particular? Yeah, don't, don't write it like that, especially if you're gonna say especially boy ones. <laughs> I have never had a pet before, so I don't know much about them, but still. Cats are the answer, I replied. I need to go to the bathroom. Meet me outside the mall's entrance. I think I think we are done shopping. Okay? Okay. He's gonna buy her a cat, isn't he? Probably. Foreshadowing is foreshadowing is a literally. <laughs> oh man, I he, fucked that he's up. Like, he's like her emo Hagrid. Yeah. <laughs> taking her to. Oh yeah. Taking her to. Diagon Alley to get all the tattoos yeah. and clothes uh, and a, a pet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're going to death, but it's all emo clothing and band merchandising. <laughs> is this the My Immortal prequel? <laughs> this is like uh, Harry Potter Balenciaga, but instead it's Harry Potter Hot Topic. <laughs> <laughs> I smiled. Sweet, see you soon. I began to make my way to the mall's entrance and I must have stood there for half an hour. 
How long does it take? I waited another ten minutes and Jackie came out of the mall. Sorry to keep you waiting. I saw a good friend of mine and I struck up a conversation. Sure thing, buddy. Jackie said awkwardly he was holding something behind all his other bags, he grinned. I thought nothing of it. He probably wanted to buy something for himself and didn't want me to make fun of him. Yeah, probably sure. bought a shirt that says, I paused my game to be here. <laughs> I'm sorry, Annette, but how dumb are you? <laughs> like, this is the most obvious shit ever. We hit the taxi and drove home while I call it home now because I have nowhere else to go. Well, that's depressing. <laughs> Literally lost my way. When we came in, Ronnie was the first to bolt down the stairs. Where the fuck have you been? He was cut off by himself when he stared at me. I already put my eyeliner, new clothes and shoes on before reaching the house. He stepped closer to me and reached for my face and pulled it closer. You know, I'm kind of disappointed we're not getting like detailed description on what she's wearing. Yeah. This is not my immortal enough. Yeah, that, that, that actually would have been a strength from my immortal to put here. <laughs> Just tell us what the character looks like. Yeah. Not... He whispered. Ronnie, I whispered back, giving my sexiest laugh a shot. Okay, oh what is God. how does it what is what is even a sexy laugh? Well, that's for you to <laughs> <laughs> Yeah 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 <laughs> oh God. Gosh, Ronnie <laughs> My life is like a video game, Nikki. <laughs> Gorge. <laughs> Gorge <laughs> I lost my way again. <laughs> Gorsh, Maxi, why do good girls like the bad guys? <laughs> oh man, <laughs> that's uh, that that might that sounds like a plausible plot for a new goofy movie. Like <laughs> Goofy's, <laughs> Goofy's becoming an emo, and Max is really embarrassed about it. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, Dad, can you stop? You're embarrassing me in front of Roxanne. <laughs> Gosh, Maxi, I'm going to Hot Topic now. <laughs> oh god, I lost, the li I lost the line. I lost my line again. You lost your way again. Oh yeah. By the way, I f by the way, I felt his hand trembling on my chin. I succeeded attracting him. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> I would you word it like that? Mission accomplished. <clears throat> I used a track. It was really, uh, it was really effective. Gorge, Maxi, I succeeded in attracting this emo girl. <laughs> We're gonna get a big titty god of GF. <laughs> what did you do to yourself? He whispered his eyes scanning my whole body as he pulled away. Oh, sweetie, don't be so surprised. It was bound to happen anyway. I said as I began to lock my shopping up the stairs. What? <laughs> Do you can you word it like that? Lack like my shopping? You're not supposed to. Like oh, shopping well. bags would have worked, but I guess she's lagging the sh concept of shopping it itself up the stairs. Well, she, I thought like she brought the whole mall with her. It's a portable mall. <laughs> it's gonna go upstairs. So she can get hot topic whatever she wants. Oh yeah. Passing Ron, Derek, and Ryan, they all looked like they were about to faint. I felt for the first time in my whole life, I felt beautiful all the times when I cried alone, feeling ugly and fat, were over, <laughs> were over, I felt alive. Okay, mm. I don't really understand so, how going guff fixed your body dysmorphia, but okay, go off, I guess. getting tattoos. Yeah. I guess the tattoos make her look thinner or something. <laughs> I laughed with happiness when I reached my bed and flopped onto it. I sorted all my new clothes into the drawers I had in my wardrobe. I stopped when I heard talking coming through the through from the bottom floor. What do you think, Ronnie? I heard Jackie's voice ask in amusement. She 
is so... I don't even know why she did that, but she looks so perfect either way. Jackie, I think I am in love. This is the first time and it's driving me crazy. What do I do? I am finally in love with this woman that I already bought as a girlfriend or something. <laughs> I don't know, this whole scenario is just weird. Jackie laughed louder than anything I have ever heard. Man, are you an idiot? She ch she changed for a reason. She changed so you could like her, man. So he, my heart. So, <laughs> wait, she he she changed so he could like Kyle. <laughs> oh yeah. There's no comma, so like <laughs> yeah. like her man. This is a weird. This is a weird twist. Oh yeah, yeah. That's the real twist. I mean. That's always the implication with love triangles. <laughs> My heart throbbed. Oh, how I wanted to be in Ronnie's arms, but I will never get there. He can't possibly love me. It's not like he just said that he loved me. It's not like I'm already his weird, uh, like his weird house girlfriend thing. <laughs> Yeah. No, he could never love me. We gotta throw I insecurity for emo. the sake of insecurity into this. <laughs> yeah, I will never love a stupid emo like you ever. I thought she was already. I thought she was already full of herself. Yeah, dude, dude, give her this and tell her your feelings. My heartbeat stopped for a second. He is going to come here in my room. Oh my god, I have to act ever so casual. <laughs> A prefilla, I have to act ever so casual. I thought frantically. I turned my MP3 player onto some romantic tune and then began to paint my nails black. I could hear his feet stumping up the stairs. My heart jumped with every thud. Stumping. Stump, stump, stump. I don't even have a joke for that. I just think it's funny. Alright, chapter 5. Love Confessions. Last and last chapter. chapter also. So, I hope this is where she finally turns bad for reals. Unless uh, having tattoos was al already supposed to be turning bad. Yep. Ronnie, I never thought of you having feelings like this. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's because, uh, Nat, it's because I lost my way before I found you. <laughs> it's because I had a bad day. It's because I'm coming home to the place where I belong. My I, life was like a video game. Then I found I was trying hard to save the girl. And now I saved her all right. <laughs> <laughs> Has Roddy Radke ever covered anything from Daughtry? <laughs> no. Oh, not, not really the same <laughs> that would genre. Be great. <laughs> That's the only way the story can end if he starts singing <laughs> Home by Daughtry. <laughs> Unless there's, like, a Ronnie Radke AI voice thing. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> Chapter 5, Love Confessions. That afternoon, the, the door opened and I saw Ronnie Radke trying to look casual walking through with a little cage with black inside. Is that cage for me to begin? I asked in a <laughs> joke tone. Oh, it was Not... a joke, never mind. Yeah. I used my joke voice to tell this really funny joke. Not looking away from my toes. No. Ronnie said, not seeming to realize it was a joke he tensed up as he walked over to sit on my bed. Did I give you permission to sit there? I laughed, trying to break the ice. He caught the gesture. I ordered something. I ordered Jackie to buy you something so I could give it to you. Did you? I'm pretty sure Jackie bought it by himself. Yeah, maybe it's Jackie who... So, 
I ordered him to buy you this gift instead of me buying you this gift. I think actually it's Jackie uh, told him, look, I bought her this. Just pretend it was your idea. And then she will like you. He began. And Jackie decided that it was wise to buy a domestic animal. Ronnie continued in an extremely sophisticated voice. <laughs> domestic animal. Oh, shut the fuck up, Ronnie. <laughs> and be you talk normally. I interrupted. That got him grinning. Well, bitch, do you want this cat or not? Yeah, start abusing me again verbally. I laughed and then paused. Wait, Jackie bought a cat, not a question. I said, looking up for the first time into Ronnie's mesmerizing eyes. I gently took the cat's cage handle. R uh, wait, what? I gently took the cat cage's handle, Ronnie, but he held it tight. Okay. I have to tell you something before you start obsessing over her cat. I pulled away and put my pedicure set on the bedside table and braced my heart for a heart attack. I know I haven't been too kind to you separating your marriage plans and shit like that. I mean, it was partly <laughs> Kyle's fault. <laughs> fault. I braced myself, tensing my arms, and then relaxing them over and over again. Oi! He began looking for the first time frightened. You? I said, prompting him. I am fucking in love with you, and I have lost my way. <laughs> Mine, please accept me. I want you to be with me for the rest of my life. I would die for you, I swear. Ugh. My heart stopped. The blood ran cold through my veins. It was like a dream that I never wanted to wake up from. Somehow I wasn't expecting this from uh, what I heard before. Will you be my girlfriend? He asked in the most innocent tone. I swear I nearly cried with happiness. I looked into you his... Met... <laughs> you met him like three days ago, dude. Yeah, yeah. Again, this is like shitty emo Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> It would like it would be completely different if like um like uh like if like if this happened to you you wouldn't you it wouldn't happen this fast cuz like you don't know him but the reason why it's this way is because the author obviously knows who Ronnie Radke is. Yeah. He just didn't really do much to actually win her over and that's the thing. It's just it's unearned. But such as Wait, like, Adam, you said this is uh, emo, beauty, and the beast, so basically this is just beastly, is what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wake, your ass, wake your ass up, because it's time to go beast mode. <laughs> you idiot, why the hell do you think I got these tattoos for? Of course I will. I replied laughing, he started to laugh too, he leaned in close out foreheads leaned against each other. You should probably never get tattoos for somebody else. <laughs> yeah. You have the most beautiful blue eyes I have ever seen. He whispered. My reply was my lips joining his. He wrapped his arms around me. I shrugged his shirt off. The rest of the night was like a dream. I woke up with Ronnie Radke's arms around me and him singing quietly. Oh my god. How did she shrug his shirt off? Oh, I keep praying, don't fail. I, I, wait, I pray in feet? <laughs> yeah. I pray in feet, don't fail me now. I have lost my god damn mind. It happens all the time. I can't believe I am actually meant to be here. I am trying to consume the drug in me is you. 
I get so high on misery. Oh, can't you say? Oh, the misery. Every single person is my enemy. <laughs> is that your song? I whispered he nodded as he went on to a verse that talked about life contradicting itself. He cut himself off like he was in a mid thought. Like he was in mid thought. Yeah. Am I actually here with you? He murmured. No, I'm just a figment of your imagination, I said, and then I vanished. No. Probably, I replied, then I heard him mewing. Oh my god, Ronnie, you made me forget the cat! Is I shrieked. Is the cat in there all night? Yeah, of course, she, the cat was in the cage. What a fucking asshole! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, remember, animals are just objects that you use for your whims. <laughs> so you can impress your guff GF. I shrieked, Ronnie shot straight up, I opened a cage, a cage, <laughs> I guess we have more than one cage in this room, revealing a black cat with golden eyes, and it was a boy, I immediately checked, I smiled. <laughs> Come on, kitty, I am sorry, daddy was distracting me. <laughs> I called in a cute talk, oh wait, let me read it again in a cute talk. Come on, Kitty, I'm sorry, Daddy was distracting me. <laughs> I picked the cat up and sat back on my bed, cuddling the little kitten in my arms. Ronnie just sat there in amazement. What are you amazed about? That you're the father or me in general? I teased. I am the father of a cat is... Wait. I am a father of a cat is pretty cool, but you in general is the most amazing thing I have ever been amazed about. What the fuck is this line? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a father of a cat. I have become Daddy Derek. <laughs> I laughed. Does that even make sense? I said in between my laughed. It does to me, babe. I turned to him. Want to hold him? I asked. He laughed. So that's the thing you love more than me. He teased. Yep, I said in a full honesty. Oh, wow. <laughs> Are you serious? Yep, I want you to try and beat little kitty over here. Whoa, 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 I don't like where this is going. Come on, don't, don't beat your little kitty. Well, they I don't replied. show later. <laughs> There's a deleted scene in this fanfiction where he accidentally puts the kitten in the dryer and... <laughs> oh, yeah. no. It gets wet and he put it, puts it in the microwave. <laughs> accidentally. You can't see it, but I'm doing the little finger quotations over here. <laughs> yeah. I replied What is Kitty's name? He said in mock disgust I looked carefully into my kitty's eyes Flat I said smiling wider Oh man This hasn't aged well <laughs> He shook his head face palming What have I done? He murmured in utter misery. Don't this the cat, motherfucker? I said in mock anger. He looked at me. I think we should hit the tattoo parlor and get yourself inked a bit more. Wait, wait, hold on a moment. Okay. they She just got the tattoos the day before. Yeah. And then they, they had sex. That can't have been... Painless for her. Wait, had they? Did they? Yeah, I think it was implied, right? Was it? Like, they were there all night. I don't know. I I thought it was implied they had sex. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. I mean, maybe I just missed it somehow. I don't know with the story, to be honest. 
Anyway, let's go to uh, Inkopolis Plaza and get yourself all inked up. I looked at him with annoyance. I went there yesterday, it hurt like shit! Oh, bullshit, Nat, you got your back, arms, and chest done, that shit doesn't hurt. If you do it all at once, it probably does. <laughs> shit, shit, what a load of ass fuck. I showed him my wrists, he widened his eyes. Shit, that's commitment. Why your parents' names? Yeah, why not something... Why not something... Uh, useful, like... 666... Or something, I don't know. Or your social security number. I lowered my eyes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I lowered my eyes. I lowered my eyes. Oh no, I am so sorry, Nat, I didn't. I shook my head. Shut up, it was a long time ago. He reached for my face and looked at it again, his eyes in deep amazement. There is so much I need to know about you. He whispered. Yeah, me too, I have only known you for one day. <laughs> yeah, Damn. I mean... You're not wrong. He smiled and pushed my hair behind my ear. In one night, he said, winking at me. I couldn't help giggle at how attractive he was. He didn't even have to try. Jackie! I yelled, and in less than 30 seconds, Jackie appeared by the door. Yes? Oh, hey, Ronnie, I expected you would be here, too. Jackie said I laughed. I need to feed this beautiful beast named Vlad. Jackie chuckled. One moment, princess. He said another few seconds cat food and biscuits were delivered. Why, thank you, darling. I said to a grinning Jackie. You're... You're... Uh, wrong, you're... Welcome, princess. He then chuckled and left soon after. I heard Jackie's voice telling the others. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Roddy just got laid. Oh, so they did have sex? Yep. Wait, did I genuinely miss something? It, it wasn't directly stated before, but it seemed pretty implied when it said, like, she got him shirtless and the night was a dream. That kind of feels like they had sex. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I, I, I think I missed that line somehow. Just went into one ear and dried out the other. Ronnie and I burst into laughter. I love you, Nat. His voice purred, I smiled. Likewise, babe. I began petting the cat and had an idea for a tattoo. To the pet, to the tattoo parlor, I said, Ronnie smiled, leaning closer. Where will it be, babe? I no, gave, not a question. I gave a pause, taking advantage of his eyes. I would like Vlad's face tattooed on my right, uh, on my oh arm my right God. here. Oh gosh, <laughs> she's one of those people. I exclaimed. His eyes looked a tad bit disappointed until his eyes lit up. I will have I will have a Vlad being stabbed on my stomach. He said. I turned my head away. Oh, babe, I didn't mean it, Nat. He said, trying to turn my face, and when he did, my lips collided with his. He grabbed the cat off my hands and laid on top of me. We probably would have gotten further if Ron hadn't came in and asked a stupid question that went something like... Ronnie, did you get laid? Oh, God, never mind. <laughs> then running out of the room and screaming, They are at it again! 
Ronnie rolled off me. I just laughed and kissed him on the cheek. God, we gotta get that cheek action in here. <laughs> oh no, not again. <laughs> I went to my wardrobe and took out some combat boots. Oh, come on. Come on, not the combat boots. Leather coat, black jeans, and a tight black shirt. Leather coat, black fedora, and my katana. <laughs> my camera sunglasses. I applied my eyeliner and posed for my starstruck boyfriend. He rushed out of the bed and attacked me with a million kisses. It couldn't get any better than this. I don't think I will continue this story because I'm having writer's block about it, but feel free to suggest ideas I might continue. From Russia with love. Fall XXX. Damn. Wait, is this so that's offer why you from Russia? <laughs> I mean, makes sense. Yeah, Anastasia's possible. also common Russian name. Very possible she's from Russia. Oh, so that's why... The, so, so the selling your girlfriend uh, off bit makes sense. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I guess. Um, yeah, obviously, don't suggest this author any ideas. They probably forgot they wrote this, and for good reason. I mean, that's also probably why they named the character Anastasia. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we got reviews. Okay, Krista Ray says, "So I read it, Dumble comma." It's good. Looking forward to reading the rest of it, double comma. So sad they had to give each other up like that, double comma. But hey, double comma. It's Ro it's Ronnie Radke, not one, not three. There's just something about that guy that make you crave him, haha, -ha, double comma, again. Yeah, the way he's saying I lost my man just made me crave him. I don't even think that came out at this time. But, uh, yeah, okay, what to was, be uh, fair. So oh yeah, fashionably this late definitely came out at this time. <laughs> yeah, so my life was like a video game. <laughs> we already got that. Okay, we have KT um. here. <laughs> there is so much about this story that made me think it was a 12-year-old writing, writing this. I'm only midway and I felt the need to write this. The beginning is just ridiculous. Take note, not ridiculed and very far-fetched. If she were getting that many tattoos... Cyphering such a large area of her body, there is absolute hell to no way it would take only three hours. Not possible to draw it all up and in ink. Never. But at the same time, I can't stop reading it and I actually really want to finish it. I'm getting mixed signals from it, so you basically just said everything that... Or at least some of the things that sucked about this. And uh, then you said, yeah, but I'm still <laughs> gonna want to read it. So, I mean, to be fair, we didn't particularly enjoy it, and we still read it. So maybe this yeah. person is also getting some fun out of it. We're we're kind of like sadomasochists, so we just enjoy the pain. <laughs> yeah. So Bridget dot one zero one two three seven says, <laughs> "I think it's nice. Just makes Roddy look like a sexual predator, though." I mean, uh, kind of. yeah, kind of. Also, <laughs> pillow over here. OMG! Exclamation mark. No space. It cracked me up! Uh, quotation uh, in quotes. Ronnie, did you get laid? Oh, odd, never mind. You need to write another one. Whoa, whoa. Josh Byrne says, Loved it. I have a semi for sure. Josh XX. That was chapter one. Then on you, you, the same day for chapter five, he says, here's an idea. Get a fucking life. Whoa, that's not nice. Who is he replying That's weird. To? Yeah, what's, did he reply to someone who deleted their comment, maybe? Maybe, but this is a terrible format to respond to somebody. Like, yeah. somebody else who leaves a review. It makes it look like he's saying to the author to get a fucking life, which is not cool. Yeah, unless the first one was, was doing, unless the first one was sarcastic. Wait, what does he mean by "I have a semi for sure"? I think it means he's hard. I don't know. Uh. Never heard it said like that, but come on, Josh Byrne. 
Any other reviews? Uh-huh. There. How about this one by Hannah, eleven year old? Jack falls for Ask Anna out on a date, not knowing what to do. She agrees. When Ronnie finds out, him and Jackie get in. A Jackie's sister who what? is thirteen no. comes ah. into the falls for Ronnie, and then Ronnie asks her out on a date for revenge on Anna. No, 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 no. We don't need that. no. Well, <laughs> no. I, guess I can. Here's the thing: I can be forgiving of Hannah, eleven year old, because if assuming that she's is actually 11, eleven years old. <laughs> Because you can't never believe that's her internet. actual guest name. I never knew what. Mom, dude. After the after this story, I'm gonna change my Discord username to Joaquin, 22 years old. Yeah. Oh wait, no, 22 year old. <laughs> yeah, that's how we'll all, we'll all know how old you are forever and always. We are. We already Joaquin, know how old 22 you are. year old. Man, the Julius, 23 year old. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh man, I forgot how Adam, how old Adam is. I'm older than time itself. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, the elder god. <laughs> yeah. Adam, sixty-seven year old. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I, well. Did we all turn bad for Ronnie Radke? I guess uh, I, f- I feel kind of bad right now. I feel I think you need to put more effort in. I, I need think... to be wined and dined a little, you know. <laughs> I think I'm gonna hit up uh, the next EMP shortly. Get one of those. <laughs> get one of those. Uh, I hate people shirts. As usual, uh, don't harass the author. Don't harass anyone that we cover. It's just unneeded. Or we are gonna sell you to Ronnie Ratsky, I guess. Otherwise, you're gonna turn bad for a DLDR. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. You're gonna become our. What's What was the word again? Turning, indentured turning groupie. bad for. Yeah. You're gonna become our indentured kitten. <laughs> turning since bad, we're on Discord. Turning bad for Joaquin, 22 year old. No, 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 no. <laughs> It has to, I can't, I can't, I'm not up for that task. It has to be someone else. And as right. always, you can always, um, you can leave us a, um, you can go to our Discord, check us out there. You can go to the suggestion, suggestion form if you want to leave a suggestion for a story. All those will be in the description. Also, I have social media down in the description. We have a Tumblr, Twitter, and a TikTok. I ha- at the time of recording, we have not posted anything on there. But we might in the future. Oh uh, no, we will. All right. And remember, gotta get on that grind. And always remember, if you do not like, then do not read. Boy. Later. I lost my way again. <laughs>